Welcome back to Slifer Slackers. Slackers. Episode 5, where we're going to be opening Enemy of Justice. And guys, we just want to let you know, we heard you. Yes. The last episode of the series uh, with Shadow of Infinity, we tried out something new. We simulated our pack openings, and we also played our duel digitally on Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. And judging from the comments, oh, y'all didn't quite like that. Yeah, uh, obviously it does save a lot of money to not have to buy a full box of every set, and we thought that playing digitally would maybe be a more seamless experience, but you guys did not agree, and frankly, we didn't either. Yeah, there's something about physical Yu-Gi-Oh that is a little bit more enjoyable, a little bit more visceral. It was hard to banter because there's weird delay with the video. Yeah, so many little things about that that just aren't quite right. So, you'll be happy to know that moving forward in the series, we will be going back to class with physical duels face-to-face. -face. And we're still going to be simulating our pack openings, but... We do have one real booster pack each of yeah. Enemy of Justice. Just for old time's sake, you know. So we'll open these, and then of course we'll do the rest of our packs drafted online, and then we'll get into the duel. Before we get into it, make sure you give us a like, and leave a comment on what are your favorite cards in Enemy of Justice. And uh, without further ado, class, class begins. Begin. When you think of the perfect Marvel Universe game, what do you think of? I imagine a game where you can assemble your own team of Marvel heroes like Nick Fury did with the Avengers. What team of heroes could defeat any villain in the Marvel Universe? Well, luckily, today's sponsor, Marvel Strike Force, you can find out. Marvel Strike Force combines turn-based strategy elements with the excitement of real-time combat, creating a gaming experience that's easy to pick up and play. In this game, you get to assemble a team of your favorite Marvel characters, both heroes and villains. Whether you're a fan of Spider-Man, Iron Man, Black Widow, or Loki, you can collect, upgrade, and battle alongside these iconic characters. There's so many ways to enjoy Marvel Strike Force. Dive into a rich storyline as you battle across iconic Marvel locations and face off against legendary foes. New ways to play are releasing regularly along with campaigns, blitz, and arena. There's also Alliance War, a massive weekly alliance battle, raids, and Cosmic Crucible where you go head to head against other players. One of the most exciting aspects of the game is the ability to unlock and add new characters to your roster. If you're a new player, you can even unlock up to 17 characters within your first 30 days, including Spider-Man, Deadpool, Thor, Captain America, and more. Be sure to participate in December's month-long event, Frozen Festival. Celebrate the holiday season by participating in limited time events for spectacular rewards. Take on the mission and download Marvel Strike Force today by hitting the link in the description or scanning the QR code. If you do, you'll get the chance to unlock Captain Marvel or Miles Morales for free until December 31st. And don't forget, use this promo code to unlock Gambit, 500 Power Cores, and five premium orbs for a limited time. Thanks to Marvel Strike Force for sponsoring today's video. All right guys, I have my pack of Enemy of Justice. Uh, let's see what's in here. There's a, a lot of great hero cards I want to see. Uh, if I'm lucky, maybe there'll be an ulti in here because you can't really can't really get ultis in the simulator, at least not in real life, at least. Let's see. Oh man, this pack is. Why is this pack fighting me? Elemental recharge. Heated heart. It's a great spell for uh, my hero deck. Avalanching Awesa. Dimensional fissure. That's a crazy card. Just all monsters get removed from play instead of going to the grave. D time for Destiny Heroes, Majestic Mexenku, Destiny Signal, Battery Man D, more Battery Man, E Emergency Call as my last card. Guys, I'm playing Heroes. Okay, so it's my turn to open a pack. In a land inaccessible to the rest of the world, the premier dueling high school Duel Academy educates promising young duelists to their full potential. However, little does the school realize that things are about to change with the arrival of the greatest duelist of all. All right, first card we've got is Guard Dog. Flip your opponent, count special summon for the rest of the turn. O Oversoul. Select a normal hero monster, elemental hero, and special summon it. Macro Cosmos, very uh, powerful floodgate. Been limited for a long time, um, until recently. Avalanching Asa. Now, rare card, Elemental Absorber. Remove from play a monster in your hand, and while this card's in the field, your opponent's monsters have the same attribute, not declare an attack. That's actually an interesting early Floodgate card. Searchlight Man, Elemental Hero Mariner. Celestial Transformation. Whirlwind Weasel. Flip your opponent's kind of spell or traps for the rest of the turn. Nothing to say. 
but I'm excited to open the rest of the packs. All right, you guys, so we're back on YGO Prague to do our simulated pack openings. We're gonna be opening Enemy of Justice. As you guys know, there's lots of different packs here you can draft, it's a great thing to do with your friends. Um, so we're only gonna be doing 24 packs. Last time we did 48, that was another one of the things that you guys did not really care for. I thought it was maybe too many packs. And I agree, so we're only going to do 24 packs each. I think this will help us still be able to get enough cards in a set to kind of change our decks in a meaningful way without overdoing it. So, let's open the pack. So, uh, Battery Man D. Now, this is one that I'm actually really interested in. Not specifically this card, but Battery Man get a couple of new cards in this set. Battery Man D and Super Magnetic Voltec Dragon. Uh, and if I can get that card, that would be really cool because you guys might remember I got three Battery Man Double A's early on, in, I think in like the first or second episode. So I could actually put those to use. They're not in my deck right now, but it could be later. Also, Herald of Green Light. I forgot the Heralds came in here. The Majestic Mechs are in here? Did not remember those. And Icarus Attack? Okay, so it's funny, Shadow Infinity was not the best set. This set really cranks it up though. Another Bountiful Artemis, Icarus Attack again, though I don't think there's enough Winged Beast to use that. Well, speak of Winged Beast, there's with Birdman Joe. Destiny Hero, Captain Tenacious. Interesting, I don't plan on really using Destiny Heroes, but um, it can re-summon destroyed ones. Whoa, Ultra Rare Voltanus the Adjudicator. After one of your counter traps has been activated and has resolved, you can tribute all monsters you control to special summon this card. If it's special summon this way, you can destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number of fairies you tributed. Wow, if I, listen guys, if I can spot a few counter traps, I can maybe use a few from the last set, because um, it actually had a lot in Shadow of Infinity, then maybe I could actually play a dedicated counter fairy deck. Super Hero Mariner, not something I'll be using, but this takes Bubble Man and Avian, which means Alec might actually be able to use it. It's crazy that all of these, like, uh, lettered hero cards are just commons in this set, so he'll probably be able to get all the ones he needs. Okay, Majestic Mech Oka, another really good fairy. So this one's fun because uh, you can normal summon it without tributing, and if you do, it's destroyed during the end phase, but that could still actually be really good for getting in a quick attack, and then, um, Maybe doing something else with it. I don't know what else, but something. Another Battery Man D. <sighs> Try to get that super, uh, whoa, wait, Ultra Rare Elemental Heroes Shining Phoenix Enforcer. This is more of an Alec card than a me card, but um, it takes Phoenix Enforcer and Sparkman. Okay, Majestic Mech Goryu Ultimate Rare. This is another one of those Majestic Mech cards where um, it can get really, really big. And um, I don't know, I, I, it's looking like if I don't get my Battery Man card, I might just have to go with a Counter Fairy deck. And I don't mind the idea of that. Another Cyber Phoenix, super rare, awesome. Herald of Green Light, just gonna get a spell. Maybe the fairy thing is gonna have to be the way. Icarus Attack again, Cyber Kieran. All right, uh, wishing Alec the best of luck. See how it goes. All right, so first off we have eight Heated Hearts. So this is an important card, or it's an, it's an okay card in the hero series of spell cards. So you target one face up monster you control and then it gains 500 attack and it, and it gets piercing. So it can kind of make any one of your guys a, I guess a one turn beat stick. Yeah, so this is a one, it's a one turn beat stick, but you do want to run it if you want to run like the hero flash spell, and I promise you, I do. Uh, Destiny Hero Doom Lord, target a monster. Oh yeah, so this guy can banish one of your opponent's monsters temporarily, but it comes back on the second standby phase, and you can't attack on the, the turn you use this effect, so it's not bad, it's just not very good. Uh, Necroid Shaman? Why, okay, this is the fusion of Wild Heart and Necroshade. So a little bit of a problem with that is that uh, <laughs> Necroshade was never actually in a Yu-Gi-Oh booster pack, so we can't pull it. We might have to finagle some things so I can actually use Necroid Shaman. Because Necroid Shaman is actually not that bad. You can destroy one of your opponent's monsters and then summon a monster from their grave to their field. You know, you're, you know, card economy wise, you're like, why would I want to do that? But the idea is Necroid Shaman uses effect to destroy something bigger than him. And then you summon a small monster back to your opponent's field so he can attack it. So. It's a roundabout, but you do you do actually you know get over on that situation. The only downside is Necro Shaman is 1900. I would have liked to see at least one more point in the attack code category, but it is what it is. He did Heart Senku. What's Elemental Recharge? Gain 1,000 life points for each face up elemental like hero monster you control. I don't like that. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't like cards like this. Uh, I know it's a. It, know it works with heroes, but I'm not gonna run it. I just. There's just no way. Oh, our righteous justice. I like this one. So this has uh, Stratos' second effect. We destroy spell or trap cards. Um, 
equal, equal to the number of Elemental Heroes, not up to, but equal to the number of Elemental Hero cards you control. I like it. It's just another way to get uh, cards off the field. Oh, look at that. Elemental Hero Phoenix Enforcer. So this was uh, Aster Phoenix's um, counterpart to Flame Wingman, because it still takes Avion and Burstinitrix, but it has 2100 attack. Actually, I think it's the same as Flame Wingman. But, but it can't be destroyed by battle. That's kind of the most important thing here. And that's actually not bad, because at 2100, it can very well just be swung over. So, being that it can't be destroyed by battle, that actually, that's a fair, I, I don't mind that. I like that, I like that. Okay, oh, more importantly, it's O Oversoul. So I can special summon my hero monsters from the graveyard with this. That's actually great. I really want to see more copies of this. I'm only halfway through, so we'll probably see more. Another Oversoul and Hero Flash. So if I get each P each letter in the graveyard, I can special summon a hero monster from my graveyard, and then all of my elemental heroes can attack directly. So it's a it's a pretty good finisher. You just have to get everything in the grave. And look, yeah, it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, it might take a while, but I'm gonna play it, all right? I'm gonna play it, I don't care what else. Okay, those are my packs. I'm gonna kinda scroll through and see what we got. So we, get, we pulled these three ultimate rares, though for our purposes, they won't be. We got the uh, Phoenix Enforcer. I'm glad to see that. I love having more uh, hero fusions to make. We have Cyber Prima, who can destroy spells, specifically face-up spells. There's, there might be something there, but not likely. I got three hero flashes. I promise you I'm not playing three of them. I'm playing it, but I'm not playing three of it. I got 12 heated hearts, plenty of that. I got enough of E, O, where's my R? Oh, yeah, so I got, I got enough of my common. Honestly, just getting H, E, R, and O, that was my condition for victory in this episode. I think these cards are gonna take my deck to whole new heights. And uh, those alone, I, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I, I wish Paul luck, because He's gonna need it. All right, so here's my deck. I'm going for a counter fairy strategy, uh, loosely. Um, so I've got the majestic mech cards, which basically I can uh, tribute for one less tribute, or summon for one less tribute, but they'll die at the end of the turn, so I'm gonna still try to summon them normally when I can. Got Voltanus the Adjudicator, which hopefully this can just come out at all. If it does, it gets to nuke the field. Some heralds, two green lights, and a purple light. Since I've got enough theories to run this, I think it should come in handy, just because this can negate like polymerization. That seems pretty crucial. Um, obviously, Bountiful Artemis will be getting me draw power. Single copy of Layer the Liberator. I don't think it'll actually come up that much unless my fairies get banished. But I have Banisher the Radiance. And then from last episode, Adhesive Explosive. And Cyber Phoenix. Cut down on these a little bit because I didn't want my monster count to be too high. Still have Droroid and Cyber Dragon. The only new spells are these Celestial Transformations. I don't even know that these will really be all that helpful, but they can summon monsters from my hand as a quick play spell. That's okay. Um, one brain control. I have Alex brain control as well, um, but I'm going to try to get away with just running one because I think that brain control is kind of sacky and it's more fun to win without it. And the rest of the stuff is pretty much the same except for this little selection of counter trap cards. Now these are supposed to work pretty well with like Bountiful Artemis and stuff, but the real problem here is that like these suck. I mean like Force Back can get a normal summon, but like they'll still get to summon it again next turn. And Goblin out of the Frying Pan and Malfunction are basically joke cards. This might just be a one episode uh, deck, but we'll see. And that's basically what I'm running with. All right guys, so this is my updated hero deck. I'm really expecting to get a lot of use out of the new uh, hero spell cards, especially this e-emergency call. I went heavier on my, um, my hero lineup again, but I probably don't need as many now since we do have the e-emergency call. But we have just so many different fusion monsters with different fusion materials to make that I went hard on them just because it, it's hard to limit them right now. Maybe in the future I will, Prob probably. But for right now, this is what I'm gonna get. Uh, this is what I'm gonna try. And if nothing else, we will be fusion summoning. One card face down, uh -oh. and I'll end my turn. All right, draw for turn. Our normal summon, Elemental Hero Sparkman. And now I'll activate my E-Emergency Call to add an Elemental Hero from deck to hand. Must be nice having consistency. I'll add Elemental Hero Clayman. Then I'll enter battle and have my Sparkman attack you directly for 1600. Now I'll set two cards face down and end my turn. All right, I draw. Not exactly what I wanted. I'll set one card face down, another card face down, and end my turn. All right, draw. I'll enter battle. Battle entered. Sparkman attack. You attacked. Bountiful Artemis with 1,700 defense points. 
Each time I resolve a counter trap card, I draw one card. Also, though, that means you'll take a hundred, unless you've got something... You got counter fairies? Yeah, <laughs> apparently. Huh, okay, yeah, I got it. You take a hundred damage. Yeah, this game in the set, you didn't notice? I guess didn't think you, you had enough to build a deck. <gasps> but that's those cards you wanted. Well, we'll see if they resolve, but... <laughs> okay. I've got a few counter traps, I might. We're gonna find out if you have any. In main phase two, I'm gonna activate Brain Control by paying 800. Uh, wait just a minute. I might have oh, something oh, to say oh. about it. What you got? I'll use my compulsory evacuation device. That's not a counter trap. To target my bountiful Artemis and return it to my hand. Oh, all right, fair enough, all right. I, no, nothing for my brain control to do. I will set a monster face down and end my turn. Draw, normal summon Drillroid. Oh. In attack position. You know what that means. Mm -hmm. I'll enter the battle phase, and I'm gonna attack your face down defense position monster, which will automatically be destroyed by Drillroid's effect. Poor Clayman. Then I'll set one card face down and end my turn. All right. Draw! I'm evenly matched with your elemental hero Sparkman duelist. 1600 is a lot. It is a lot. A lot of attack. 1600. But that's why I'll activate H. Heated Heart. What's that do? It'll give my Sparkman 500 attack, and it gets piercing for the turn. That's lame, but okay. So now, my Sparkman with 2100, enter battle and attack. I take 500 damage. No fair. I'll set one monster face down and end my turn. Ah, setting again. Oh, I draw. Hmm. This will be worth it. Bring it on. All right, activate Monster Reincarnation. By discarding a card, my Layer the Liberator, I can add back my Drillroid. All right, look, I thought you were playing Counter Fairies. You well, can activate a single Counter Trap. Fall in due time, Slacker. I normal summon my Drillroid. Wow. I'll attack your face down, Monster. All right, you destroyed my Rottweiler. It only gets an effect of destroyed by battle, which it wasn't. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. I will normal summon. Elemental Hero Sparkman. Cool, second copy. You know what that means. I do, maybe. Enter battle. Battle entered. Sparkman, attack Drillroy. We're both destroyed. And now my other Sparkman will attack directly. 1600. All right, end my turn. Draw, I'll set and pass my turn. Draw for turn. Set a monster face down and I'll end my turn. Draw. Flip Drill Roy. What is this deck? <laughs> Enter battle and attack. You destroyed my Avion. Oh, what? I mean... But it's I'm sick of the thing. I set another card in main phase two and end my turn. Draw for turn. Sorry, slacker. This is called real duelist strategy. I end my turn. I learned it in class. Normal summon Bountiful Artemis. You told me that this was a counter fairy deck and you play you've just done nothing but Drillroid things. Enter battle. Drillroid attacks Sparkman. We'll both be destroyed. We're both destroyed. Well now you don't have to worry about Drillroid anymore. Enter or continue battle. Activate hero signal. What's that when do? When one of my heroes destroyed by battle, I can special summon a level four lower monster from my hand that's also a hero. Well, you wish. Activate my first counter trap card, Malfunction. What's that do? By paying 500 life points, I negate the activation of a trap card and return it to its original position. It's just set again. Yeah, it doesn't destroy it. Oh. But my Bountiful Artemis will let me draw one card since my counter trap resolved. So. He's finally playing counter fairy, Joe. Now you're still gonna take 1600. Oh, yeah, I gotta take that. I'll end my turn. Draw! Pay 800 life points. What? And activate Premature Burial. Oh, that lets you target a monster in your grave. What are you targeting, Duelist? I target Elemental Hero Avion. Hmm. Activate Herald of Green Light. By discarding it and another fairy from my hand, I can negate your spell card. Say goodbye to Premature Burial. Wow. Yeah, and I wish that was considered like a counter trap and I could draw, but I just lose my two fairies. I had a second Bountiful Artemis. Not bad, not bad at all. I'll activate my Skyscraper to change our field. 
Uh, <laughs> then, normal summon Clayman! You thought, Duelist. I did? Activate Trap Card, Force Bag. Negate the normal summon or flip summon of a monster and return it to the owner's hand. Bye! And now, Bountiful Artemis draws one card. I end my turn. Hey, you're not actually losing any cards from this. You're just getting them put back in positions. I draw. All right. Now, I enter battle phase. Yeah. 1600. Yeah, take it. Set one card face down and end my turn. Draw! I'll normal summon elemental hero. Not so play. fast. I activate my counter trap card. Force back. <laughs> it's returned to your hand. And I draw one card. I hate it here. I hate it here. I have my turn. I draw. Still wish I had an extra monster so I could actually finish you, but I don't. Go ahead and set in a force back or something. Just continuously stop me from playing things. I'll activate my heavy storm. It destroys all the spells and traps in the field, even my set malfunction. Enter battle. 1600 with Bountiful Artemis. That puts you down to 1500. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. I draw. Sadly, this is where the gambit stops because I don't actually have a way to swing over Clayman. So I'm just gonna set a card face down and switch Bountiful Artemis to defense position. Your move, duelist. Draw for turn. I'm surprised my counter traps even worked that well. No, it, they didn't. It, it, it oh, was, thanks. It, was, it means a little high. It was all wrong. Everything here was wrong. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. I draw. I'll activate Dimensional Fissure. Oh my god. Any monster sent to the graveyard is removed from play instead. Yay. Wonderful. Now it's your move. Draw! So let's normal summon Elemental Hero Burstinatrix. Okay. It matches your jacket, Duelist. You slacker. And I'll flip summon my Elemental Hero Clayman. And now I'll activate. R, Righteous Justice! What the heck, Duelist? No I can fair. can destroy spell or traps you control up to the number of hero monsters I control. Not up to, I think it says exactly. Yes, it has to be equal. You have to have exactly two. Destroy Dimensional Fissure and Miraculous Descent. And I'm not done yet. You may have noticed my monsters can't get over your Bountiful Artemis' defense. They can. Because that's a true hero problem. And now I'll activate Fusion Sage! What? I can add a polymerization from my deck to my hand because they weren't showing up any other way. Oh, finally, a fusion summon. Yes. It just sucks that it has to result in my bountiful Artemis' death. That thing has to go. I don't even have counter traps right now. I activate polymerization. I'll fuse my Clayman and Burstinatrix to summon Elemental Hero Rampart Blaster. What's that do? I think it can attack in defense position? Yeah, it's like a super heavy samurai. It can attack in de defense position, but um, it, it still uses attack stats. So while it has 2,500 defense, I still have to use a 2,000 attack for attacking. Fine, duelist. And now enter battle. Battle enter. Rampart Blaster, Blast Artemis. Now end my turn. I'll draw. Let's try. Activate Celestial Transformation. What is that? Special summons a fairy from my hand. It halves its attack and it's destroyed during the end phase. What Special fairy summon my Herald of Purple Light. Now I can tribute Herald of Purple Light and my Adhesive Explosive. Oh my gosh, still have that in the deck. For this. Majestic Mech, Gory. I can normally summon about tributing only one monster, but if I do, it'll get sent to the grave during the end phase. But it also has piercing damage. So I'm going to enter the battle phase and attack your face down defense position monster. I've got 2,900 attack points. To my 1,200 defense. That means you'll take 1,700 damage and I'll win this duel. Wow. I'll draw to start my turn. I'll set a monster face down and end my turn. I'll draw. I'll also set a monster face down and end my turn. Hunter. Draw! Sorry, not Hunter, Slacker. You're getting your, you're getting your series yeah, mixed up. Yeah, your series mixed up. Well, go watch for Hunters, eh? I'll activate E-Emergency Call. Must be nice having consistency. I'll use Ash Blossom. I don't think so. I'll add to my hand Elemental Hero Wild Heart. Wow, that's wild. And now I'll normal summon my Wild Heart. Who's That's unaffected wild. by trap cards? Doesn't really come in handy here, but and then I'll activate skyscraper. 
Wow, what the heck, duelist? Enter battle. Battle entered. Wildheart, attack his face down. You attack my adhesive explosive. I had a feeling. So, uh, if it gets attacked in face on defense position, it gets equipped to that monster without applying damage calculation. And the monster will be destroyed in a standby phase of your next turn. Set a card face down and end my turn. Draw. I'll set a monster and a spell or trap card. I'll end my turn, duelist. Draw for turn! During your standby phase, Adhesive Explosive is gonna blow up with Elemental Hero Wildheart. I activate Elemental Hero Burstinatrix! She's not a spell card. She's not an object. She's a person. And then I activate Our Righteous Justice! What? To destroy your spell or trap card, which we both know is a trap. Chthonian Blast! I don't even know what that is. Well, you won't have to because it's gone now. Goodbye, Chthonian. And now, I'll enter battle, which is surely to be a mistake. Yeah, probably. Tricks, attack his face now. Bountiful Artemis yep. should take 500. That's very fair. That makes sense, honestly. I'll end my turn. I draw. All right, I'll switch Bountiful Artemis to attack mode. Disrespectful. Enter battle phase. I'm going to attack your Burstinatrix. You thought I activate Hero Barrier. What the heck? If I control an elemental hero monster, I can negate one of your monster's attacks. <laughs> Why wouldn't you run negate attack, Duelist? Because it's on me. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to main phase two and setting a monster and ending my turn. All right, draw for turn. Be nice if I had a counter trap, but I don't, so he's just gonna have to die. More than likely in it. I, you know. This is one of those floating. That's certainly not human. Floating I'm like fairly statue certain things. that's not human. I'll go straight to my battle phase. Okay, duelist. Bersinatrix will attack your bountiful Artemis. And when it's boosted by my skyscraper, Bersinatrix has 2200. Uh, I take 600. And then I'll end my turn. I'll draw for my hero. I end my turn, duelist. All right, draw. Normal summon, out. elemental hero spark, man. You know, the strongest one. Yeah, so 1600, than this, There's not much I can do. 16. But anyway, spark man, attack his face down. Cyber Phoenix, 1600 defense. Perfect, exactly what I wanted. Wall no, it out. has 1200 defense. Attack. Well, 1600 defense. So. It might, the plan was. Oh, the yeah. Was still less, Cause it could, yeah. But well, they have equal and. Well, well, how, cool, I get to sit for a bit. I'm very disappointed. Yeah. I'll end my turn. I'll draw for mine. Normal summon Drillroid in attack position. Name. Drillroid, attack his face down monster. It's destroyed by card effect, I know. Say goodbye to Clayman thanks to Drillroid's effect. Next. That card be putting in work. It does. I'll end my turn. He's Draw gonna die turn. next turn, sadly. I'll activate O Oversoul. Oh shit. It's a special summon a normal monster that includes elements of hero in its card name and special summon it to the field. Say hello to Clayman. Ah! Now, enter oh, battle. Oh no! Burstinatrix will attack Drillroid, and she'll be boosted to 2200. So I'll take 600 damage. And then, Clayman will attack your Cyber Phoenix and get boosted to 1800. That gets over 1600 defense, but Cyber Phoenix's effect activates, lets me draw one card. And Sparkman will have the least attack and attack you for 1600. Yeah, yeah, good for you, Duelist. And I'll end my turn. Well, I'll draw for mine. All right, Duelist, you ready for this? No. I activate Brain Control. By paying 800 life points, I'm gonna take advantage of your, take advantage. Wow. I'm going to take control of your elemental hero, Spark Man. My Spark Man? He belongs to me now. Duelist. I'm going to tribute your elemental hero, Spark Man. To summon Majestic Mech Oka. Ooh, that thing's big. It's got 2,400 attack points. That's all it's got. Yeah, it's a enough. fairy, so. All right. Majestic Mech Oka, attack Burstinatrix with 2,400 attack points. So I'll take 1,200. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. All right. Draw! That Majestic Mech is a real problem. Yeah, 2,400 is a lot of attack points, Duel. I'll normal summon Bountiful Artemis in attack mode. Majestic Mech Oka is going to attack your elemental hero, Clayman. Goodbye, Clayman. And now Artemis will attack your face down. Goodbye, Rottweiler, whose effect can't activate because there's no polymerization in my grave. 
Wow Duelist. Wonderful problem. A shame. I'll go to main phase two and set a card in my turn. All right. Draw! I'll activate Heavy Storm. No fair. I have Sakuretsu Armor and Force Go, Back. Uh, goodbye, Slash Creeper, though at this point you weren't going to make a difference. I had you dead to rights, Duelist. You thought. And now, set a card face down and end my turn. Next, I'll attack directly for 2400 with Oka. Gotta take it. Putting you down to 3900, your move, Duelist. Draw for turn! Here goes something. Alright, Duelist. I'll activate my Dark Factory of Mass Production. I'm gonna add two normal monsters from my graveyard to my hand. All right, do it. Which useless vanillas will you be getting back to your hand? They may seem useless to you, but, but in they general, are. they are pretty useless. I'll add Bersinatrix and Clayman. What? No fair. Two for the price of one. And then I'll activate Polymerization. What are you polymerizing, Duelist? I'll send Bersinatrix and Clayman to the grave and Fusion Summon. Oh, boy. Elemental Hero, Rampart, Blaster. Oh, dear. Okay. I can't actually swing over it. No, you cannot. Cool, Duelist. And now I'll go to battle and Rampart Blaster will attack your Artemis with 2,000. Destroy it and I take 400. And I'll end my turn. Draw. All right. Well, I'll set one monster face down and another card face down. And in my turn. Draw. I'll enter battle. Battle enter duel. Wait, that could be an adhesive. It could be duel. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. I draw. I'll also set a card face down duel. and end my turn. Draw. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. I draw. I'll end my turn. All right. Draw! I will normal summon Rottweiler. Okay, Duelist. Why are you normal summoning that? You know what, the, what that means. What's it mean, Duelist? Rottweiler, attack Oka. Are you really about to just lose your Rottweiler for this? Yes. He's got 800. 800 you take 1600, Duelist. It gets destroyed by battle and it activates its effect. Okay. It'll add a hero monster and a polymerization. Maybe that was worth it. Who you knows? No, I think you could have set it in defense position and gotten uh, the same. You would summon a Drillroid and destroy it by card effect. I already know. I think I went through two this duel. I'm getting a Clayman and a Polymerization. And then my Rampart Blaster can't attack that monster. It's probably not worth it. I will, I will agree with you on that. <laughs> I'll end my turn. <laughs> Draw. I end my turn, Duelist. Draw! We're at a stalemate for now, but just you wait. I'll activate Polymerization! Fine, Duelist. I wish I had my, uh, what, goblin out of the frying pan to negate your spell and put it back in your hand. Great! I'll send my Sparkman and my Clayman to the graveyard to special summon Elemental Hero Thunder Giants! Yuck, Duelist. I will... End my turn. That sucks. Draw. All right, Duelist. It's been a fun duel, but I think I've finally drawn the card that I need to defeat you. I'm glad you can draw what you need. I tribute my Oka and my Adhesive Explosive. I knew it'd be another one of them things. For Majestic Mech Gory. Oh my gosh. This thing Once again, an attack position. 2,900 attack points. And it has piercing, right? And it has piercing oh, damage. Okay. Into battle phase. I'll attack your Thunder Giant with 2,900. I'll activate Sakuretsu armor. No fair, Duelist. Yeah, I got destroyed. traps too. I got traps too. Well, I already summoned this turn, so. <laughs> activate my Dimensional Fissure Duelist. I'll use my Fissure to destroy, to destroy the, the monster with attack. the lowest attack. That's my blaster. Say goodbye to Rampart Blaster. He gets banished or removed from play instead of going to the grave. I end my turn. Draw for turn. I'll activate Pot of Avarice. Oh, okay, Duelist. I'm going to shuffle five monster cards back into my deck and draw two. I forgot you drew that, or you pulled that. Me too. <laughs> you get Wild Heart. Yeah, those would probably be worth getting, huh? Because, like, interestingly enough, some, you kind of want heroes in grave. I mean, you want it, like, one at least, just to get back with those spells and stuff. So I'll return three Rottweilers, 
Wildheart, and Sparkman. Okay. Five is a lot. I mean, it's a lot to ask for, too, because it means, like, if that was in your hand at the start of the duel, like, you just, it would just suck. I'm glad I saw it late. I guess I got to draw it and I got to use it. Yeah, because otherwise that just could, like, lose you the duel, just being a dead card. All right, duelist, what are you going to draw? I don't know. Draw two. These are certainly cards. I'm sure they are. They are the cards. Of all time. I'll enter battle. Battle enter duelist. Thunder Giant, attack directly. Brings me down to 16. And then I'll set a monster face down and end my turn. I draw. Oh, wow. Hmm. That can come in handy. First, I'll use Mystical Space Typhoon on your set card. It's actually dead. Hero Signal doesn't work under d -Fisher. Celestial Transformation. Summon a Fairy from my hand. Have its attack. It's destroying the end phase. I'll summon Herald of Purple Light. And now I'm going to tribute it for another Majestic Mech. Oh, God. I don't miss this card. Not one bit. Now, could that set card be a Rottweiler, I wonder? I, saw, I did shuffle them so. all back into the deck. Hmm, well, I'm going to attack it and find out. It's fine. It is a Rottweiler, but it actually needs to go to the graveyard. So... It's been it. Your move, duelist. Well... Draw! You probably believe that I'm forced to crash into your Oka with my Thunder Giant. I believe that. What if I told you I don't have to do that at all? All right, well, let's see what you have. I'll tribute my Thunder Giant. Oh, dear. For elements of Hero Necroshade. And then I'll activate Skyscraper. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll list. enter battle. My Necroshade attacks your Oka and goes up to 2600. I take 200, Duelist. That's right. That wasn't worth it. I'll end my turn. I'll draw. Set a card face down and a monster. Your move. Draw. I'll normal summon Elemental Hero Avion. Hmm. Oh. It feels really bad relying on these small heroes at this point in the game. Yep. A thousand attack points. <laughs> enter battle. Battle entered. Necroshade, attack. You attacked. My Herald of Orange or Green Light is banished. And Avion will attack directly for 1,000. All right, I need this top deck to be good. And I'll end my turn. Draw. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. This is it, then. I'll draw. Now, normal summon, Sparkman. All right, do it. And I'll enter battle. Battle, enter. Necroshade attack. I activate. Miraculous Descent. What is that? Select one of my fairies that's removed from play and special summon it to the field. I'll target Majestic Mech Oka. Just anyone? Yeah, it's like a call of the haunted for a very specific type in a very specific place. So I think it's fair. Wow, yeah, okay, yeah. But that's not all, Duelist. What, is it? what do you mean you're I not done? I chain Mystical Space Typhoon to target your Skyscraper. That's a problem. Which means Skyscraper will be destroyed. And then, Miraculous Descent Special Summons Majestic Mech, Oka to the field, in attack position. I got a main phase, too. Okay, Duelist. Set a card face down, and I have to end my turn. I draw. Now, my Majestic Mech, Oka, with 2,400 attack points. Attack, Elemental Hero Sparkman. I activate Dust Tornado. What, Duelist? And I'll destroy this card. No fair, Duelist. It is tied to that, right? I read that correctly, right? It, they are... It, yeah, it's Okay, destroyed. good, good, good. Loser! I did what I had to do. Set one card face on in my turn. All right, draw for turn. Switch my Avion to attack position and normal summon Clayman. Is the land at all bare, huh? Enter battle, Clayman attack for game. And I'll start by setting a monster face down. And a spell or trap card. Your move, duelist. Draw for turn. I'll normal summon Elemental Hero Sparkman. And I'll activate H Heated Heart. Now enter battle, Sparkman attack his face down. You attack my Cyber Phoenix. It'll be destroyed, I'll take 500. Thanks to your piercing, but I'll get to draw one card. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. Draw. Hmm. I'll set a monster face down and end my turn. All right. Draw for turn. But I can activate E Emergency Call. This isn't an emergency. Not yet, it's not. It's always an emergency. It will be soon. Well, I'm not waiting around. I'm adding an Elemental Hero Clayman to my hand. I'm activating Polymerization. 
All right, Duelist, what are you polymerizing? My Sparkman and Clayman to fusion summon Elemental Hero Thunder Giant. And now I enter battle and have my Thunder Giant attack your face down. I activate my trap, compulsory evacuation device. That's lame. I'll return Thunder Giant back to your fusion deck. I end my turn. I draw. I flip my Bountiful Artemis to attack position. Enter battle phase. Yes. I'll attack with Bountiful Artemis for 1600. It. And now, I'll set two cards face down. And end my turn. All right. Draw. I have to end my turn. Good. Bountiful Artemis. Enter battle phase. Attack for 1600. Taking that. I'll set one card in my turn. All right. Draw. I'll activate Heavy Storm. You monster. You let me set all these cards. Through. I was waiting for to get three. I was like, he's going to give me a third. I'm going to wait for it. You know what? I'll activate Goblin out of the frying pan. By paying 500, it negates the spell and returns it to your hand. Okay. Which means Bountiful Artemis will let me draw one card. I'll play Heavy Storm. All right, my card is destroyed. Hey, at least I got a draw out of the deal. That's true. That, so. That's true. That was very confusing. Don't ask me why they made that card. Like, come on. They could have been like, negated and returned to the hand. They can't use it again this turn or something. I don't think anyone knows the answer to these questions. Like, come on. I'll end my turn. Enter battle. Bountiful Artemis attack for 1600. This is not good. I'll set one card and end my turn. Draw for turn. I'll activate Skyscraper. A normal summon Clayman. Okay, Duelist. Actually, I could have put him in defensive mode. It probably would have been for the that best. That probably would have been a smarter play just in general. Clayman, attack Bountiful Artemis. I activate. He's got a, a mystical space typhoon on your skyscraper. Oh, it's really gone wrong. Which means Clayman will be attacking Bountiful Artemis and you'll take 800 damage. Good. I'll end my turn. I draw. Bountiful Artemis attack for 1600. Gotta take it. I'll set one card and end my turn. Draw for turn. You're down to 800, Duelist. What do you got? What has the teacher uh, taught you? What have you learned from crowd? Not much. I set a card face down and end my turn. I draw duelist. Crowler doesn't teach us slifer slackers. Into battle. Bountiful Artemis is going to attack your face down. You hit my Rottweiler. So I can add an elemental hero and a polymerization from my graveyard to my hand. I'll get my elemental hero Clayman and polymerization. All right, Duelist, I'm going to go to main phase two. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. I activate Polymerization. Okay. What is it? I'll send my Clayman and Bristinatrix. My hand the grave to summon a per the perfect marriage of attack and defense. Right. 2,500. Fun. Enter battle. Wait, it can't... Oh, yeah, I forgot. I only have 16. I thought I had something else. Like That's that. right. Bursinatrix attack. Bursinatrix Rampart Blaster attack. I mean, she's sort of Bursinatrix. You'll take 400. Bursinatrix is inside of there. All right, I take 400 damage duelist. I'll end my turn. I draw. Wow. I'll end my turn duelist. All right. Draw. I'll activate Dark Factory of Mass Production. All right, duelist. What cards are you getting back? I'm targeting Sparkman and Bristinatrix. Now I'll normal summon my elemental hero, Sparkman. Okay, do it. Not a swing for big damage. Okay, some damage. Sparkman attack for 1600, and Rampart Blaster attacks for 2000. And I'll end my turn. I draw. He's reeling now, y'all. I activate. I'll pay 800 for Premature Burial. That's me target a monster in my graveyard and summon it to the field. It'll be Bountiful Artemis. Okay. In attack position. Then, let's tribute Bountiful Artemis for Majestic Mech Oka. Enter battle. With 2,400 attack points, it's perfectly enough to defeat your Sparkman. It isn't pretty, but I'll attack for 800 damage exactly. I Which lost. means I win. Darn you it! took a big risk in summoning the 1600 attack Sparkman it's to the, the field. It's the strongest one! The strongest of the heroes wasn't enough. I had 
Heavy Storm and Celestial Transformation set, which weren't really... I had a, I had a dead brain control. Can I call it an audible? I, I don't want any of these cards. I don't want your pot of Avarice because I like you having that. It's more fun that way. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I, don't, I, I was actually having the same issue. I have, I have absolutely no clue what I take from your deck either. You know what, Duelist? You can keep your deck cards. I don't want any of them. They don't deserve a spot in my deck, but they might make a good coaster for my drink. The Rare Hunter stopped by and, uh, you know, left some cards. So you get one and I get two for winning. How about that? Okay, I get something. Sure, yeah, I mean, it might be fun. I've, I, I for, I've forgotten what's all in this set. I've, oh, His the... reprints have mostly just the first few sets and a couple okay. that we missed. So some things that we, uh... I think that's where you got your point of address. Or no, or maybe you just pulled it. All right. Uh, hold up, we'll, we'll zoom in. You're literally, as he holds a clay man. All right, hold him a little closer. Cool. All right, yours over, yours a little over there. I can't tell. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's open. Clay man, clay ruler, howling insect, Valkyrie. Ragnarok, rescue cat, eagle, eagle Ooh, eye. ninja grandmaster Sasuke, that devastation virus, super That's rare. That's a mean card. That's pretty cool. I, I didn't get a super rare. I got threatening roar. Huh. Could be useful. Big wave, small wave. Got a few, few cool cards. My pack was lame. All right, one more pack for me. I got the Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. I'll call that a win. It actually probably is. It's a pretty good card for dealing with some of my uh, defensive cards. Rescue Cat, Harp Lady 1, Medusa Worm, Nightmare Penguin, Bokoichi the Freight Car, Lost Guardian Token Festival, Level Conversion Lab. Oh. I wonder if this has any counter trap cards. That'd be cool. That there's there's probably something in there. Not in there, but yeah, it's set as you a whole. Hope. Okay, cool. Super rare deck Devi. I don't have dark monsters. I literally have the opposite. So. I guess going forward, since our decks are so archetypal, maybe that should just always be the prize. Yeah, get a few Getting packs. Getting to open up extra packs. Okay. That's fair. All right, well, well played. Slatter. Don't you give me that hand. Wow, duelist. I'm coming back for all the marbles next round. All I right. Have, I no longer have any loyalty to heroes. I'll do what, what it takes to win. We'll see about that. Hopefully you guys enjoy this episode of Slack for Slackers. Yeah, guys, let us know what are your favorite cards from Enemy of Justice. Uh, this was a... It was an, an interesting, interesting duel, set. yeah. It was an interesting set. Interesting, interesting, set, duel. interesting duel, yeah. Uh, I, I didn't like seeing D Fisher. That's a that was a wild card just be in the set. Yeah. I I only ran one. I, I didn't want to run multiple because I was like, I'm not gonna. You know, I, mean, <laughs> I would have lost even harder if you did that. It was actually a fairly close game, I would say. Barely. So yeah, if you guys haven't already, make sure you watch all the past episodes of Slacker Slackers and also Rare Hunters because. We uploaded a super cut. Yeah, a super cut of the entire Rare Hunter it's series. It's like a seven hour marathon. Seven hours of classic Yu Gi Oh! if you guys want to check the that good out. Good stuff. If you've just got time to burn or you just need something to fall asleep to, have a look. Anyways, we'll be back next week with. Ooh, Shadows and Fanny? That was last week. Oh, I'm getting my GX sets mixed up. Power of the Duelist. That's it, the green one. Yeah, some new cards coming in that. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Past turn.